Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, June Flicks. So yes, here's another video for you guys and for me as well. <laughs> as I've mentioned before, that I wanted to have a project wherein I want to have a podcast for myself. It's like a diary. I just want to share to you about my thoughts and randomly. So yes. So I'm actually not quite sure yet when can I post this, but probably I guess this is the very first video that I will be sharing. This is the first time that I told to myself that I wanted to push this. So I was actually being 30. So you know, um, I just turned 30 recently, and it's it's not really that big of a change, but I just wanted to make something that I actually felt like all these years I tend to get lazy you know so for example um, I actually want to start a YouTube like a vlog continuously actually not just for videos I mean for views or anything but I actually just wanted to have a video for myself that's the very first reason why I started YouTube is because I wanted to have memories of myself so you know it's so fun because especially um, I started to have uh, vlogs about traveling actually pre-pandemic and then it was quite consistent but it's not really that good it's not aesthetic because I didn't have super good with edit or what and I don't have like a professional camera or anything like everything was captured on my Phone, so good but it was fun because looking back I have those memories so it was you know before like this year and sobrang sobrang fun for me but um, unfortunately it actually stopped because of pandemic I wanted still to push through with YouTube but there's nothing really to go on travel with the pandemic because I'm in the house and you know it's very hard to think of what to do because i myself actually want to do a lot of things all at once but that's one of the problems as well but yes but i was also able to post some random videos that i've done during those years 2019 like i had a couple of concerts, the online na puntahan. I mean, na puntahan na panood. You know, super random stuff. And looking back, it's so fun. It's so fun to watch it. So you So I might as well just, you know, being thirty. So probably I will when I will, when I'm already reach forty. So I will be able to watch this video. Yeah, but yes, yeah, actually. Um, that's one of the cheese that I wanted to continue with YouTube. However, I wanted to have a, like a podcast series as well, like because I don't know my thoughts and everything. I just wanted to have more to talk more randomly. Yes, but let's see. But actually, that was a quite long introduction of this first series of podcasts, I don't know, but probably yes, first of the videos that I will be posting. What's the topic for today? So since I've mentioned like entering 30, so probably I think I would have the very first topic of looking back on my younger years. There's not really much of um, pagkikinaya or anything like I should have done this, I should have done that, but of course, um, sobrang dami pa din but I'm actually looking back of the things that I've done before and I'm actually quite happy because if I'm going to go, not really to go back compared to other people but um, those years um, during pre-pandemic, it's actually pre-pandemic specifically, I was able to travel a lot which actually gave me more confidence about myself and you know meeting other people i didn't really meet a lot of friends close friends but i did met a lot of people which actually contributed to me or to who i am now like i mean i meet a lot of people we talk and you know i think yung mga experiences for me 
to me rather I had this idea na oh that's what happened pala which is actually it's really good because you know get to ex- learn or think about experiences that you yourself uh, yun, hindi mo na siya kailangan experience for yourself especially if those are bad things I guess so yun I'm so happy that I was able to travel a lot during my younger years. You can't do as much as you've done before na younger than that. So every time that I will be having a chance to travel, I would go for it. Like seriously. Sometimes I do have about I do have doubts on my capabilities. Like kaya mo to, kaya ko ba yan? I would always say to myself, kaya mo yan, kaya mo yan. But I don't know. But when you grow old. And I guess, I guess, I guess, talaga, um, you know, pandemic, like working from home has actually contributed it because he can I expose. It's not, it's not really bad to go, na di ka mag work from home because guys, super sayang mag work from home. But if you have a chance, like once a while, or already, or actually, kung ayaw mo ng work mates, or just go out. Probably because I don't have. Or I don't have anyone to meet because you know, my friends with is quite busy. So you know when you get to have an adult, you get in this life adult. It's so brang hirap talaga. It's not it's not a joke na yung ibubuo mo pa yung calendar. So yes, having a closer or smaller group of friends is actually not bad. It's actually good because you can actually filter out who's who. Another realization, actually not realization, but I was looking back. So when I was younger, I do hustle a lot more. No, I think I do hustle a lot more because pre-pandemic na I was working full time in school. Well, actually I do travel as well. So if I started to have another side hustle because personally for me i'm not really the creative um if i did hassle more hustle 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 more so it's easier for me to think of what can i do now you have more work more stress but i have this mindset na kailangan ko siyang i-level up din kasi if if I have a lot of stress tapos nang stay lang yung pangtanggal ko na stress parang hindi siya nakakompensate so yeah, I feel sad for myself, which is actually bad. Kailangan mo siya equal as much as possible. But I guess, yes, I'm actually speaking for myself. So yeah, this is actually just my own thoughts. When when I was younger, I think I should have gone with a lot of extracurricular activities like sports. I guess so. Actually, I like I do some sports, but not that religiously. Particular thing is to actually meet other people and learn something from yourself. Like, malay mo, uh, magaling ka palang magpaint, you know, magaling ka magstitch or anything. Like, alam mo super super small things, hobbies lang siya that actually can lead a livelihood. Or if you're actually good with tutoring, malay mo pa ka palang magin teacher ganon. So. You know, it's really good to have good companions and friends that can actually lift you up as well. Because when you were younger, you tend to meet a lot of people. Like I say, when you get older, you tend to want to be more of yourself. So, yeah. you can't rely often to other people. You need to think for yourself. Well, actually, actually, I don't know how long it is or how short it is. or what's going to happen because I'm actually filming this at around 12 o'clock and I'm just kind of bored now wala akong kinagawa and I'm actually thought of doing this randomly like just to some you know um, looking back to your 20s it's something that you could actually think of once in a while especially when you're growing older you know you get to understand why things happen because personally I think how Everything happens for a reason. Like, um, if there's one thing that didn't happen to you and you wish ha- that happened to you, it's probably because if it happens, it's not that good. So, you know, keep looking forward of what's going to happen. You know, whatever that you have right now, you have to think of what's going to be the best of it now. It's going to be good for you as well. I mean, I may be blubbering a lot, but I hope you 
that it would make sense to miss it when I watch it to you guys. But yes, thanks for watching or listening to this. Okay, so here it's actually past midnight. So I'm gonna hop to bed. So thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe, or whatever this channel you love. And yes, that's it for here at June 3. So, bye!